that's happened recently is the exploratory process that people were finding was very exciting and fun and, and wine tasting has really moved on to craft cocktails. It's, it's a way to explore new drinks, to get together with friends, and to experiment. So it's, it's a really interesting trend. There's no one right way to do it, and there's no one right drink. So if you like whiskey, you can go down that road. If you like gin or vodka, you can go down that road. It's quite exciting. Well, here's a great example. A large capacity glass, 27 ounces. It's a Spanish gin and tonic. This drink has been quite popular in the UK, and now we're seeing that trend develop more and more here in the United States. It's also great for drinks that require large capacities, so sangria that involves a lot of fruits and maybe things that have ice in as well. Being able to entertain at home is not only more comfortable, it's also uh, a little less expensive and it's also just more fun and relaxing. So what we see is people are wanting to entertain at home, but they need the glassware to be able to do that. So they want to be able to offer their guests something very nice and, and very trendy and also the right shape for the right beverage. What we're doing here at ARC International is upgrading. We're offering them actually a good, better, best kind of opportunity. So if they need something just to be able to throw away, they don't care if a customer breaks it or our guest breaks it then we offer them one price point. But if they want to offer something and serve a very fine wine out of it, then we offer a much higher quality product in our Chef and Sommelier brand. Craft cocktailing and craft beverages um, continues to grow and evolve. So the trend really started around the craft beer movement. The number of breweries continues to grow year over year in leaps and bounds. We've really started to see growth within the spirits category as well, which is driving new trends in spirits and how consumers are drinking. Another one of the trends that is happening is the NOLO movement, which stands for no or low alcohol. So while there's a huge boom in different craft brews and craft spirits, there's also a big focus on health and consumers who want no or low alcohol options as well. What we're doing from a product perspective is we're trying to offer solutions for both areas, depending on what the person is interested in. So. We have some new cocktail glasses, which we're calling our Consinity cocktail line, and they're really unique and innovative, so they have an open stem to them. Some people might consider them to have a little bit larger capacity, but because of all those no and low alcohol drinks that are becoming popular, they're a really great solution to add some fun while you're entertaining.